is to do with fishers within the India Alliance. Mamta Banerjee has now come out and said that she is going to fight it alone in West Bengal. This is as far as uh, the state of West Bengal goes. Whether this changes the scenario for the national picture with the Congress, that remains to be seen. It is though significant because Rahul Gandhi's Nyai Yatra is entering West Bengal tomorrow. Let's listen in to what Mamta Banerjee has said. दीदी शेख शाहजान फिर इडी रेट हलो आज दीदी जो राहुल गांधी Uh, we were all, you know, considering whether the TMC will go or not. Here, Mamata Banerjee has clearly said that she is not going to. Uh, nobody can uh, participate in that rally because uh, Rahul Gandhi. Uh, there has been no invitation from Congress as far as Nyai Yatra is concerned. That has she has cleared. She started off. She is on her way to Bardhavan, where she is having an administrative meeting today. On her way, she said that Congress has. They have given Trinamool Congress has given. Congress various options, various they have the regard for uh, the seat sharing, but the Congress has not communicated anything. So and the Congress is coming with this yatra. Congress has not communicated that too. So for this thing, it is very much essential for them to go alone. But she has also stressed that the regional parties will be staying together, and the regional parties in nation they are going to be they are going to fight it out against uh, BJP. that's what uh, mamta banerjee has said so with congress it's totally it's clear that there is not going to be any relation with congress they are going to fight it out alone in bengal day before yesterday mamta banerjee said that more ha more than they have uh, told congress that uh, the congress should contest in 300 seats and where the regional players are strong there the regional players should be allowed to contest here mamta banerjee has given Certain formula to Congress, but none of the formula, none of the formulas have been accepted by Congress. So that's a very vital point on which Mamata Banerjee says that no, they are the Trinamool Congress is going to go alone in Bengal. Now this is a very, very, very important development because this Delhi dealing was uh, going on, and this was the point where uh, Mamata Banerjee has come out and she directly has stated. that uh, you know couple of meetings for the last 3 4 days whatever meeting mamta banerji was doing there she told her leaders to prepare uh, to fight alone in bengal but this is the attitude of congress for which trinamool had to back out that's what the trinamool insiders are saying that trinamool congress was always ready to give two seats but it is the congress which actually did not respond in the right way and that's why such a big decision now where does india alliance go from this point as far as bengal is concerned it's going to be very vital and there where india alliance stands that's a very big question and mamta banerjee who actually dropped a bomb day before yesterday by criticizing congress 
today has she is on her way to bardhavan and she has a she has an administrative meeting and she has clearly lambasted by saying that there is no alliance in bengal but yes with the regional parties they will go together they will support all the regional parties whoever is strong in whichever area but this is a very strong statement by mamta banerji an absolute right. no to congress in bengal right kamala yeah. do stay on with us because just yesterday rahul gandhi when asked a question about uh, the tmc and the alliance said all is well listen into rahul gandhi and his confidence just yesterday today it'll be uh, interesting to see how the congress responds to what mamta banerji has done but let's listen into rahul gandhi first जो हमारा सीट uh, नेगोशिएशन है वो चल रहा है उसका रिजल्ट आएगा कंक्लूजन आएगा उसके बारे में मैं यहाँ कमेंट नहीं करना चाहता हूँ बट हमारा ममता जी के साथ मेरा पर्सनल और पार्टी का बहुत अच्छा रिश्ता है हाँ थोड़ा थोड़ा होता रहता है कभी कोई उनका कोई बोल देता है हमारा कोई बोल देता है दिज आर नेचुरल थिंग्स दिज आर नॉट थिंग्स दैट आर गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब एनी Pallavi my colleague joining us for more perspective on this Pallavi now as far as the state level alliance was that the TMC was never a part of this but it was a part of the larger India alliance just yesterday we had Rahul Gandhi make it sound like all's well within the alliance seat sharing talks are on today we have Mamta Banerjee come out and said that we've never discussed it with the congress at all See, so around uh, I would say around two assembly elections back, when the Congress decided to go ahead with the left alliance, I think that was a moment when Mamata Banerjee was deeply upset with the Congress and also with Rahul Gandhi specifically because it was the Adi Ranjan Chaudhary plus Rahul Gandhi combination Pune, which had actually led to this alliance between the left and the Congress. And when after that the BJP started doing quite well in West Bengal, became a force to reckon with, she would often blame this alliance of the left and the Congress. party as one which has emboldened the bjp now as far as the present situation is concerned this of course is going to be read as a huge blow to india alliance talks the tmc and the congress talks have always been a tricky one now if you talk about adhir ranjan choudhury the tmc has always had an issue about the fact that why has he made the state congress chief because the politics of adhir is such it has to be based and it has been based on anti momtaism now mushidabad where he has been a member of parliament consistently from is considered to be one of the strongholds of the congress and therefore uh, adhiranjan choudhury's politics become stronger and more emboldened the more he attacks mamta banerjee he cannot be seen as going softer mamta banerjee that's his political compulsion but the more he attacks mamata and the trinamool congress the more he's soft on the left the more it angers the tmc i remember right over here in the national capital where mamata banerjee had met some of us at a press conference she had said winability should be the criteria and to my mind there are only two seats i see in bengal which the congress can win which is mushidabad and malda now here's the problem and dilemma for the congress party which projects itself as a national pan india party and for adhiranjan choudhury as a state congress chief he cannot be seen as compromising and giving in to these demands coming in from the tmc in his many meetings with rahul gandhi he would always make the point we need to ask for at least 8 to 10 seats not just that during the bharat jodo yatra and we been maintaining this the real test of the india alliance becomes when the yatra moves through those states where it is in alliance with uh, at the national level as a part of the india alliance bengal then becomes the first litmus test of that and it seems to have collapsed over there at a press conference when the bharat jodo nyay yatra was announced punam officially both rahul gandhi and jairam ramesh had urged all the alliance partners please join us in this yatra in the yatra point 1 i remember sharad pawar supriya sule kani mori all of them had joined the yatra so it was expected by the congress party that this time round also the tmc would join them on the bengal leg which begins tomorrow clearly that is not happening it's a huge setback of course to india alliance and also the ability of the yatra to be able to become a political force to attract allies